Anish on the left, Ben on the right. After a very quick round two for Anish, winning on turn two against an, uh, a supremely fast HMT Unicorn deck piloted by Ronnie. We see uh, we see Ben who won his round one match. Yeah, uh, coming back on camera with the crab deck. Won the cat crab mirror. Uh, Shane Shane conceded after losing a stacked steadfast yeah, witch hunter. It was, uh, to a it way, was of a way of the crab, right? Yeah, yeah. The more popular crab tower builds are actually are not warning way of the crab, so maybe that's why it was such a huge surprise for. Shane. But uh, we're gonna be uh, resolving some mulligans right now. Looks like Annie is. Anish is going to be the first player. Crab, while being a powerful deck, is a little bit weak to the Phoenix matchup just because uh, if uh, if Anish flips over Ujina early, that can spell a lot of problems for the the amount of uh, pressure it puts on the saves that that the Crab deck has. Yeah, and uh, I do know that Anish, uh, the Void Ring, is something Anish wants to push uh, significantly just because he's running a copy of All or Nothing in this deck. Right. And I don't know if he's running Kaida as well. Uh, I don't know how deep down that Void Rabbit Hole he's gone. Mm -hmm. but, so with the mulligans done, we're going to uh, see an immediate flip of Ujina actually by Anish here. It'll be curious to see if he actually goes ahead and buys that. No, he's going to go for a, a Depth of the Waves instead with one Fate. Ben, uh, I think if I was Ben, I would just go ahead and buy Satoshi and Might as well. He's fade, fade on it, yeah. And he's just passing, so. Oh, no pass by Anish. Whoa, I'm That's a gift for Ben, actually. I would just pass here. Yeah. I, I think I think maybe he wants to ensure a, a province break on turn one if he has two coverted Adept of the Waves. So. It also means he's likely to get the honor. Yeah. Or the favor, sorry. But I think if I was Ben here, I mean, I would see this as a good opportunity to try to get rid of that Agena before he has the ability to play it. Absolutely. So we see a we see a mountain does not fall. Two copies of it. Brings the way of the crab to the front of the hand, but doesn't have any viable uh, uh, viable characters to sack because you need a crab character to, to actually sack it. Yeah, he does have Although, a does he, he does have, have a skirmish ambusher in his hand. Uh, skirmisher? skirmisher? Yeah, he does. Okay. Skirmisher, Covert, Void Ring. Uh, yeah. Well, the, it, it's kind of awkward to do it like that. But uh, Anish is going to take that option away from him. He's going to go for Void, not uh, doing water. So that means there's going to be no Covert in here. Going for Void, Political, and Upholding. That's not that bad. I mean, at least he's not forced to break it here. That amount does not fall. Ben's going to defend here. He's going to take this opportunity probably to do Mountain does not fall. Yes. That does take the, the way of the crab play away, right? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't think uh, I don't think way of the crab is It's not that. It's that not powerful enough now. One, yeah. Because especially now that the Void Ring has been taken, he's not able to clear the board effectively this turn. Yeah. So it will, all way of the crab would do here would be a two-card, two-fade yeah. investment just to get rid of one card yes. on the side. So we're going to go for the Mountain Does Not Fall. Uh, keep in mind, he hasn't uh, used his uh, Satoshi ability yet. And he'll Cork Hamsen right back. Yep. There we go. He's going to follow up with a Cork of his own. Not sure if Anish has a Supernatural Stone in his hand. But it doesn't look like he does, so he's going to go ahead and concede the Void Ring to Ben. Yeah, no. Ben's gonna pass his first conflict. That's smart too. Well, now now Anish can just yeah, Anish can just uh, covert and take the water. Yeah. He kind of skipped a couple of steps there. He actually has to uh, to do the action <laughs> covert, but he no, he did the action. Uh, oh, did, did the action immediately okay. on both uh, the first round. Okay, going for shameful. Good thing he coverted, but. Uh, I guess yeah, Ben could just, yeah, play that. Doing that, uh, if he triggers a shameful display, that would uh, bring Anish down to zero strength. But because it's a water conflict, it does uh, put a feral Ningyo in. 
Gonna check out the shameful display though. Looks like every uh oh. So that was a bonsai, I think. No. All right, so it does get a break off. <laughs> I wonder what you go for here. Let's go for Earth. No, I think it's fi fire. Right? I think you go for fire. Here. Go for fire, honor Satoshi. So you have yeah. a huge honored body going into the next uh, next round. Yeah, looks like Ben agrees with me. Gonna try to get rid of that Ogina here. So Orne Fan is gonna be the play on Ben's uh, side after being meditation by Anish. Uh, Nish is going to pay one, put a Shrine Maiden to play, pull the lever, Display of Power, and two copies of Display of Power in his hand. Still an effective card, despite the fact that your opponent now knows that they're in your hand. But that will allow Ben to play around that a little bit more. So no break right now. And uh, Ben uh, doesn't seem to have... Yeah, it doesn't seem to have the... Uh, Cards to push through a break. So Gina will live. And he's very happy about that. Going to activate at the end of the turn. Pulls over another Keeper Initiate. And Iron Mind gets into the discard pile. Karada District comes down. I'm not sure how attachment heavy uh, Anish's deck is. Whoa. Uh, you played Phoenix, right, Travis? I have played Phoenix, yes. I mean, would you uh, would you say a standard Phoenix deck probably only has like Cloud the Mind, three Fine Katanas, three Ornate? Sorry, three Fine Katanas, yeah, three that. Defense? Yeah, if that. I doubt there. I doubt there's anything else right now. Ben wins a favor here with a glory count of two to one. And we're gonna go to the next round. Does make Satoshi more vulnerable than uh, might have been otherwise. Yeah, I think if I was in the ship, buy, uh, buy uh, a Gina right now. Of course, I mean, I mean, he is crap. There's plenty of ways yeah. to. Satoshi save could him. could trigger himself and then flip over another. Step exactly. Over. But actually, that wouldn't that wouldn't stop Gina from triggering if Anish were to win a Void Ring on attack. Because he could he could remove a fate and then trigger Gina. That's how it works, right? Uh. Right. Pretty obvious buy of a Gina from the Anisha side. I mean, ben just needs a, re a rebuild then yeah. to get with that Iron Mind back up. Now, I think, actually, what I would have done here is I would have put one... Now, I don't know if it's a tele it would be a telegraph on Ben's side, but uh, I would have... Um, oh, I would gets have the put Palace out of Satoshi. The, I would have put one fate on the Caillou Envoy because you do have a way of a crab in your hand. So, uh, at the end of the fate phase, once the two yeah. Adept of the Waves go out, he could uh, get a Gina with the, with the Wave of Crab. But it's curious that he only put one fate on a Gina here. I would have thought that this, was, this would be the I, He may have been holding on for display. That's true. So, a Censure uh, among the cards drawn on Ben's side. I think I see another uh, Mountain Does Not Fall. So here comes the Spyglass train, starting with number one on Satoshi. I think the water ring's very appealing here. Because um, not only do you get to deny the Covert to Anish, yeah. you're, you're also forcing him to block. You almost have to, I think, here. Yeah, and then plus you're going to get three Keeper Initiates out of this if you win it. That is very true as well. Drawing two cards with the two spy glasses. Yeah, to no defenders, uh, <laughs> funnily enough. So a court game is bringing him down sure. to uh, nine, but that's not going to be enough to prevent a break. Well, I mean, he may very well play the display now. It's not great, but... And then we're going to have to see a censure, I think. A snap censure here. Yeah. Yeah, 
that would that would be a uh, non dishonored one. Get three keepers into play. Now another another uh, thing Ben has at his disposal is uh, Kumi Laboratory through the rebuild. Yes, yeah, Now that you have the three keeper initiates in play, so I don't know if we saw a fight on on. Uh, uh, there's Ben's a lot hand. in his hand there. Yeah, this is gonna be tough for uh, Anish. I guess maybe political void might be. Uh, I, I think that's what he's gonna try. But I mean, political void. Ben has uh, yeah Shiro Nishiyama and potential Kumi Laboratory, so I don't think uh, Ben has much to worry about here. Yeah, even even bringing the rebuild to the front of the hand this seems like a very. Uh, very obvious play for him. So, Manicure Garden is more the money. that gets revealed. No defenders on Ben's side. And he indeed does have the fight on here. Draws two off the Spyglass. That's going to bring him to uh, a total of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ben has to be careful here because even if he wins the Void Ring, the Gina triggers. So, he has yes. to remember to get a save in play somehow before. Uh, Clarity to keep you, Gina, from yeah, Emerald. Rebuild Iron Mine? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Going for the Iron Mine instead of playing a reprieve, probably because he was afraid of. Uh, probably because he was afraid of maybe a Leko on his sure. reprieve, perhaps. Well, no, but all the other thing is he doesn't have to decide where it goes. Like, he could potentially save anyone he doesn't yeah. want to. That's true. So here, here's going to be Ben's second conflict. It's going to have to be a military. Going to go for the Earth Ring at the library. Manicure Garden, the flip on his side. So Ben Ben has a bonsai at his disposal. Fine katana as well. Supernatural Storm here. Or eventually. So, did he defend? Yes. Anish did? He was the adept with the zero yes. strength guy? Okay. You know, Ben said that he was, uh, he was a little bit apprehensive about playing a Phoenix deck. I don't see that much of a problem here. <laughs> I mean, he, he did get lucky with the three Keeper Initiates. Um, he had the Censure early as well. Uh, if he if he did put 1k on the Caillou Envoy, then he could have potentially blown out Anish. But uh, he could still, if he wants to, uh, reprieve the reprieve the Caillou Envoy and then yeah. wave the Crab in during the Fate Phase. So. Back into Karata District with Ugina and the Depth of the Waves. And uh, Keeper Initiates, two of them, defending. I don't think Ben's all that worried about air conflicts. No. I think he just let it happen, yeah. <laughs> All right, does he have, does a, he have a rebuild? Reprieve? No, no rebuilds either. See now, yeah, I really think that I really think that if he just put that one fate on the Caillou Envoy. Now he might have been hoping to draw a political, uh, sorry, a conflict character sure. uh, during the draw phase, but. Hopefully, hopefully Ben also realizes you can't sacrifice a non-crab character to way of the crab. I'm sure he knows this. I'm sure that he, he does. Play, he plays crab a lot, right? Yes. So. Taking a peek through the discard here, seeing what options Anish has available to him. So Anish still with one copy of Display of Power in his hand. Going to get the rid of the Karate District. I think that's a good move here. Yeah, it's never going to have a real value play. 
Not sure if that's the flop he was hoping for. Who, Ben or Anish? Ben. Yeah, that's a little bit awkward seeing a Satoshi now. Um, I don't think you buy it now because, uh, I mean, your other two, I think, has he seen three copies of Satoshi No, yet? only, no. this is the second, I Okay. Think. So but, you could have fished for but the, a dupe. I mean, you already, you already have your three keepers in the discard pile. Yes. And your Imperial Palace and your Karad is and you're low And you're low on honor as well, so, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, he, he does buy the Suichi instead. I think he's just going to pass uh, on his next uh, his next uh, action phase here. Anisha's seeing what Tadaka can turn off. Also counting how many repeats have been played. Yeah, I mean, so uh, I guess Tadaka would turn off Fight On, and I think a Mountain does not fall. Yep, absolutely. Those are the two, and a Censure too, so, yeah. Again, only with one fate. Ben's starting to be a little bit more considerate of his yeah. bid here. I think he bids one here, right? No, two. Okay, close. Being can afford the w small numbers. Start the spy, spyglass train sure. again. Although now you only have shorter, one much shorter train here. Yeah, it's just the it's just the engine or the caboose rather. This is one political. But uh, hmm. I guess if you're a niche, you uh, you poke the earth ring immediately. Absolutely, yeah. T Tadaka is uh, if it's contested, contested or, or claimed. If you cl you're yeah. claiming it or anyone claims it. No, he's claimed it. Okay. So yeah, we're just talking about the changes uh, the errata for Tadaka, for Tadaka, yeah, which just changes it so his ability is only in effect when the ring is being contested or if you, like Phoenix, has claimed the ring. T to be honest, though, I don't think it slowed it down much, if at all. No, it does make it like yeah, it makes it slightly less broken. Although I will say though, if you were gonna go through the trouble of playing Tadaka, I think you go. I mean. You're going to want to turn its ability on as soon as possible, right? Yeah. So we see here a political conflict between Ujina and Suichi. Okay, so between Manicured and Suichi, he does get uh, two extra fade off that. You're going to play Mountain Does Not Fall to make sure that right, it's it? about the end of the conflict. It's a political conflict. It's four to four. Yeah, uh, yeah you're right. Sorry. Uh, I thought Suichi five. Sorry. Oh, I was right unintentionally. <laughs> I mean, it does get rid of the keeper initiates permanently, but I don't know. I think I think firing is a good one here to go for. Yeah. Does go for military instead of political though. Yeah, upholding authority to play. Well, that way he can't he can't defend if it's military, right? Yep. Yeah. I don't think uh, Ben's all the that scholar way, has no military strength. Yeah. yeah. Now it'll be what does he want to get out of his hand before he breaks this? I'm guessing the watch commander. Oh. Well, that was a relatively painless uh, earth ring. I guess the watch commander has no value, so. I'm actually surprised he didn't just play one fine katana on uh, on Suichi. Usually, when, when upholding authority gets broken, I try to give my opponent as hard of a decision tree as possible. Uh, you know, maybe he just doesn't think that he would take the. Uh, the two fine katanas, but maybe he's okay if he leaves the other tools in there. I mean, I could see, I could see taking uh, a mountain does not fall as well, but uh, that's going to be the third province broken, right? From uh, it is on each side. That's going to open up the stronghold for next turn. I mean, he can poke this turn, but. And he's having a tough time deciding here. I think the fight on. I think the fight on makes more sense here. Yeah. The Katanas are tempting because you know you're gonna, he's going to be able to come back strong next turn with uh, multiple converts. Yep. 
So here's the triggering of the earth ring. Ooh. <laughs> third, third copy of the Leco. Still haven't seen the Karmic Balance, though. I'm kind of bummed. So mil military probably... I guess water okay, to water Regina. Regina. Going to go after the manicure garden. Going to defend with a two keeper and a shit. So that's going to be enough to block the break for now. So here's a Feral Ningyo going to eight. Going to four. That's still going to break. Here's another oh, Ningyo. I, yeah, a little preemptive. Yeah. Save Ben's yeah, save yeah, ben really card here. You're right, he didn't need to. I mean, uh, he still may do the bonsai. Yeah. So, bonsai would bring him to seven, which still wouldn't be enough to... Uh, bonsai would bring him to eight. What's that? Bonsai would bring him to eight. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. But, I mean, Anish should already know yeah. uh, what Ben is capable of, right? So. Oh, he does, but like, I, Ben, I think, may have invested in some to not lose. Okay. If he hadn't gone with the second Nino. Oh, Path of Man takes the money. You know, Path of Man is something I've actually seen, uh, especially now that Embrace the Void is on a restricted list. They've been looking for a substitute for it. So, I mean, that also explains why he kind of overcommitted into the that conflict. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way to do yeah. Now, what do you think? Do you think? Do you would you would you uh, during the fate phase play? Uh, Haruma Skirmisher and then Way the Crab to kill off Tadaka to clear the board. Oh, interesting. No. Because no. I got first conflict. I can just go around Tadaka. I've got two covert. Right. I'd, well, rather, I'd, is, ra I'd rather have two covert. Yeah. I mean, you can bring Kasada in even. Yeah. You got tons of money. You can make a really big swing. I, I guess... I mean, yeah, sorry. You can make a really big swing, but it's going to end up being political. So you got to consider how you're going to do it. Yeah. So yeah, so he's not going to do it. He's going to, yeah, he's going to discard the Pure Pile. So that makes sense because you're going to try to get your push. There's a third Satoshi, Borland's Defender, and Mantis Takinja. Going to buy that Kasada. Two Fate. I think maybe buy the Takinjo with one fate as well and then pass. That's I don't know if I put bother two, putting two fate on Kasada, but I guess you're taking a longer term. Yeah. Not looking for the killing blow this turn. Oh, Gisse Toshi no fate. I guess he's I guess he's on full. There's both going away. Now, yeah. I think Ben goes away from doing the finishing blow this turn and yep. sitting back. So it'll be interesting to see which rings Anish picks here. I mean, it's, it's highly likely he goes for the fire ring for both Gisei Toshi and the oh, yeah. Dreamer, but um, I mean, the air ring is not that bad either. Probably want to see a, a four or a five bid here, maybe? No, I think it goes low. Okay. Looks like they both drew two. Cloud the mine on Hida Kasada. Sure. She's like, Ben's like, do you have any yeah, reactions to the conflict taste starting? Yeah. He's got a couple things to do here. So Ethereal Dreamer goes for the fire ring. Gisei Toshi probably fire as well, right? Non spell fits. So you can still play yeah. Attackus. Yeah, that's not going to affect him at all. Yeah, here comes the wave from the skirmisher. Yeah, well, setting up the way of the crab play here. So you, I guess you covert um, Hisei Toshi and uh, Tadaka. You go for the air ring. Does, does Ben know what's in. Uh, 
Ben Nowitz in Anishi's hand? I, I don't think he does because would you really do this? So I think that, I think this was a military air ring conflict. It was military air ring. So it is indeed Kuromori. Now I wonder if he uh, switches it to political or maybe switches it to uh, Earth to prevent events. But I mean, that yeah, goes. That's not going to affect no, him. That's not a big deal. That much, but. I mean, it's still only three on defense versus yeah. uh, seven. I mean, he he could switch it to uh, yeah, he could well, he switch can, it yeah, to right. uh, to the air. Sorry, the fire ring and keep it on military, so it turns on Gise Toshi and uh, but the events are not you're worried yeah. you're worried about. Right? Well, I mean, that's assuming you, like the, getting rid of seven strength out of yeah. this conflict or six strength yeah. is the biggest swing you could do. Uh, it would be a five strength swing, I think. I don't know because you kick out the. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, five but, five on Casada and one from the. Right. Uh, but then scorcher. he gets one from Spyglass too. So it's, oh, fair uh, enough. Yeah. Oh, and, and one. And the political favor. So strong. only four. I mean, still significant, but I mean, looking at Ben's hand. Uh, he's I don't got think it, he's at all got worried. money, got a lot of things. I think yeah. this is it. Yeah, I I don't want to call it too early, but I feel like it is academic. But at the same time. It is an interesting um, question as to if you're in an issue situation, you know most of what Ben's hand is because you upholding authority a little while ago. So he does decide to switch it to political. So that's going to be a political. Uh, so what does he have? So eight. Four, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's just no play. He's got a plus three. Yep. There is a supernatural storm in uh, Anisha's discard pile. Against the waves, it's not going to do anything. I don't. Has he? Has he already used his uh, second run oh, of a? Oh, maybe. He I did. guess he doesn't have it. No, he's uh. It looks like it is over. Yeah, I don't think there's anything he can do here. Uh, assassinate doesn't do anything. All and nothing doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think his entire hand yeah. is dead. Pretty much. Just making sure he's not missing a line of play here. Yep. He's gonna hard cast a Feral Ningyo. Jeez. It's only a two... Uh, yeah, it's only a two-strength uh, difference. It's still breaking. Watch Commander into the conflict. And that's it, yeah. So, uh, you know, Ben, I think, over the course of this tournament, displaying really exactly why Crab is so good. It's If it it has a pretty decent early game, if it gets its mounts and does not fall or fight on. Yeah. Um, so... It, I they really think it is the deck to beat uh, yeah. as of right now. The other thing that Ben's pointing out here is coverting or uh, clouding Suichi and getting rid of the covert may have been a more effective yeah. play. But still well played by both players.